Humans have five types of uh, senses basically sighting, hearing, touching, smelling, tasting etc. These senses will tell us you about the world around you. Okay. This will happen because of the billions and trillions of the nerve cells which flashes the messages to the, your brain and uh, which will interrupt the messages and tell us what you are sensing, whether it is a good or bad. I said, our eye is like a camera. The light from an image will pass us through the cornea. Uh, it will be adjusted through the lens behind it and it will form an upside down image on the retina at the back of the eye. It will be translated by the brain. Messages about the image will travel from our eye to the brain as a nerve impulse. Then the brain will change those messages into a detailed image which we can see. For example, as I said before, when we are focusing some image, the light from the image will pass us through the cornea and it will be adjusted with the help of a lens behind it and it will form an image on the retina which will be upside down. Then when the retina sends these messages to the brain, the brain will turn it into a right way up. Your eye will react differently depending on how bright light shining into it is. How it react is controlled by the iris, a ring of muscle. Iris and pupil, the colored part of your eye called the iris, has a hole in the middle called the pupil. In bright light, the pupil shrinks to prevent too much light getting into your eye. In dim light, the pupil expands to allow more light into your eye. Hearing sounds are made up of vibrations which will be funneled inside the ear by the outer ear. The sound waves first travel down the air canal and it will vibrate the air drum. This vibration will reach the cochlea and it will send the messages to the brain where the brain will interrupt those vibrations as a sound we recognize. Touch Touch is a type of sense where our body is having around a million of pain sensors. These pain sensors are mostly in the skin. We all have the fingerprint which is particularly more sensitive. Those touch receptors will help to detect the light, pressure, vibration, heat and cold etc. Our nose will recognize up to 10,000 different smells. Receptors high up in the nasal cavity will pick up the smell molecules in the air which we breathe in and it will send a signal to the brain. If the brain hasn't come across the smell before, it will remember it and so we can able to recognize the next time. Smell and taste will work together. The flavor of a food will depend more in a smell than the taste. That's why we can't able to taste the food when we have a blocked nose. And also, this smell will help us to protect. For example, when we are feeling a smell of smoke, it wants to the fire. Taste It is now thought to be a myth that we can able to taste a particular flavor at different places on your tongue. Particularly, we will be having five types of tastes that is salty, bitter, sour, sweet and umami that is a savory taste and all of these tastes will be picked up all over the tongue. The taste sensors will not only present on the tongue, it will also present in the lining of the mouth. Taste receptors The surface of your tongue is covered with tiny bumps that is papillae. Some of these contain taste buds made up of taste cells that have tiny taste hairs. This has detect chemicals in food and your brain tells you the flavor. Fast Facts Children have around 10,000 taste buds but the number of taste buds declines with age. People who can't smell are called anosmic. If you only had one eye from birth, the world would look two-dimensional. 
there are 100 touch receptors in each of your fingertips. Girls usually have more taste buds than boys. The sense of smell is thought to be 20,000 times more powerful than the sense of taste.